So this video is going to cover all the different ways of finding the slope of a line. First of all, though, I want to explain exactly what slope is. So the slope of a line basically measures how steep a line is. OK, so it measures how steep a line is. That's what you're going to get. You're going to get a value and it's a measurement of how steep the line is. So that being said, then the higher the number, the steeper the line. OK, so the higher the number, the steeper the line. So also it's worth noting then if you have a positive number, you're going to have um, a line that goes upwards like an uphill. And if you have a negative slope, you're going to have a line that goes downwards, like going downhill. All right. So bearing in mind that the higher the number, the steeper the line, if you have a flat line, what do you think the slope of that line is going to be? And it is, of course, going to be zero. There's no steepness to that line if it's absolutely flat. OK. All right, so that's the background of exactly what it is that we are calculating. There are now three ways in which we can find the slope. And the first way is using the formula. OK, so good news is this formula, again, is in your log tables um, and you can just fill in all your values and you can find the value for the slope. M is the letter we usually always use for slope. OK. So to find the slope, you would follow this formula. What you need then to be able to use the formula are just two points. OK, so if you're given two points um, as bits of information in the question, then you can always just use the formula to find the slope. And that would be the easiest thing to do. So let's have a few examples here. So as with all the coordinate geometry formula, once you've got the formula written down for yourself, the first thing you should always do is label your points x1, y1, and x2, y2. OK, so now we're going to fill it in and find the slope, or m. So following the formula exactly, the first thing we've got to do is fill in for y2. And y2, we can see, is 3. And remembering, whatever we sub in, we keep brackets around. Then we have a minus, and then we have y1. And y1 is the value 2. So sub in 2, keep brackets around it. Put your division line, just like they have in the formula, and then underneath x2, which in this case is 4, so sub in 4, minus, so put the minus, and then x1 is 1, so subbing in 1. Okay, so we get then on the top 3 take away 2, which is 1, and then don't forget your line, 4 minus 1 is 3, so the slope of that line is one third. And we do tend to leave it in fraction form. Often with slope, you will get a fraction. All right, so let's try another one. So if c is 3 minus 1 and d is the point 5, 2, find the slope of the line CD. OK, pause the video and have a go at this. So first thing we do is, of course, label our points x1, y1, x2, y2. And now we are going to sub them in. So m equals, follow the formula exactly, y2 is first. So y2 in this case is 2, sub it in, keep brackets, minus y1. Now y1 in this case is a negative 1. So keep that negative 1 in brackets. Put your division line. And then we have x2, which is 5, minus, following that formula, x1 is 3. Put it in brackets. OK, so doing the calculation on the top, we have 2 minus negative 1. OK, now if you do get confused with your negative numbers a little bit or you do want just to be fully accurate, so you want to do a double check, by all means, type that in exactly as you see that on the calculator. Bracket 2, bracket, take away, open the bracket again, negative 1, close the bracket and you'll get your answer. But when you're subtracting a negative, it's like adding. So that's the same as 2 plus 1. 1. 2 minus minus 1 is like 2 plus 1. OK, uh, and of course that will work out to be 3 on the top. And 5 minus 3, that one's straightforward enough, is 2. So 3 over 2 is the slope. OK, next question. If e is minus 6, 1 and f is the point 4 minus 2, find the slope uh, of the line EF. OK. More negatives here, so just do be careful. Make sure whatever you're subbing in, keep brackets around it. Pause the video, see how you get on with this question. 
The first thing we do is we label our points x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, and now we're going to sub in m equals y2 is the first value we're subbing in. So y2, look over here, is minus 2, so put it in brackets. Subtract, don't forget to follow the formula exactly. Then we have y1, y1 is here, happens to be one, so put it in brackets. Then do your division line. And underneath we have x2, x2 is four. And then we have subtract. And then we have x1. And x1 in this case is negative six. Okay, doing the calculation on the top. And again, you can just type that into the calculator if you want to just make sure that you're going to get the accurate answer here if you're a little bit unsure of your negative number work. Um, but minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 over 4 take away negative 6. Remember what I said before, 4 minus minus 6 is the same as 4 plus 6. When you're taking away a negative, it's like adding. So we have minus 3 on the top and 4 plus 6 is 10 on the bottom. So minus 3 over 10 is the slope of that line. And so last question then on using the formula to find the slope. Uh, if g is the point minus 1 minus 2 and h is the point 4 minus 1, find the slope of the line gh. So I have the formula written out for myself uh, straight away already, but that's one of the first things you're going to do is write down the correct formula that you're going to use. Um, so pause the video then and see how you get on with this final example. So I'm going to label my points, of course, x1, y1, x2, y2. And now I'm going to sub it in. So m equals y2, in this case is negative 1, so put it in brackets, subtract, and then y1 in this case is minus 2, so put it in brackets. And then put your division line. x2 on the bottom is 4. Subtract. And x1 is negative 1. Okay, lots of minuses here. So again, use your calculator to help you. Just do the top bit first. If you type into the calculator bracket, negative 1 bracket, subtract, open the bracket again, negative 2, close the bracket, okay? If you want to make sure that you're fully accurate. Um, if you're doing it in your head, it, it is, of course, negative 1, subtract negative 2. So minus minus 2, remember we said before, is the same as adding. So that's the same as minus 1, add 2, okay, on the top. And minus 1, add 2, or 2, take away 1, is 1. Okay, and again, we have the same thing happening on the bottom. 4 take away negative 1. 4 minus minus 1. Minus minus 1 is the same as add 1. So 4 add 1 is 5. So 1 fifth is the slope of that line.